My name is Anna Haskamp and I am one of 4,500. I have two children in public school. Gabriel is nine and I have Olivia. She is seven years old and she's in the first grade. Gabriel has been homeschooled for a year and a half and at the beginning of this year, he went back to public school. Classrooms do have a lot of students that she has, that she's responsible for, um, and she doesn't have a teacher assistant, and it just seems like one person for that many kids, um, she's just not able to give the amount of time that she, I'm sure she would like to give. That was a concern for us, and then I learned that next year when he is in fourth grade, that the classroom sizes are going to be larger. The school that we would love for Gabriel to go to, there is a maximum of 12 students per class, and he would be able to really get a lot of one-on-one -on -one help with his learning. Olivia started public school this year. I expected that she was going to do very well. However, she is, she's slower with her reading. She's a good reader, but she's just slower. I was told that there's, they're really limited in the school with how much help that they can give to her individually. And I got a phone call from a friend and she told me about a flyer she got in the mail about the Opportunity Scholarship. I looked it up on the internet and I thought, wow, this is amazing. If our kids can qualify for this, then we would actually have some options, which was a great relief, um, or would be a great relief for my husband and I, and um, just giving us a choice, giving us an option that we wouldn't have otherwise. I think it's unfortunate that the courts have stopped the Opportunity Scholarship from going forward. I'm a mom and I know my son and I know my daughter and I know what's best for them. And so having this, um, this privilege of this scholarship would mean a lot for moms like me. My name is Anna Haskamp. I qualified, I applied, I was denied.